your news on the go. It's 6.54 and a six-year-old boy remains in the hospital in critical condition at this hour. Shot two nights ago by his uncle at a home on Syracuse's west side. And moments later, that man was shot and killed by Syracuse police. Miguel Russo spent four years in federal prison after admitting to being a member of the Bricktown gang. Now, police haven't said what happened between when police arrived and when an officer shot and killed Russo. A 19-year-old Syracuse man is now under indictment for the shooting death of a woman on the city's south side earlier this year. A grand jury indicted Dennis Rice on second-degree murder, attempted murder, and criminal weapons possession. This surrounds the shooting of 34-year-old Juanita Schley in February. One man was also hurt in that shooting. Just one week after a Florida man was caught with a loaded gun at Hancock Airport, TSA agents say a Tully woman tried to bring this loaded handgun onto a flight there yesterday. Agents say the weapon was loaded with six rounds and was in the woman's carry-on bag. Syracuse police were called and they took the gun and detained the woman for questioning. Some scary moments yesterday here at a Cicero gas station after the gas pump canopy came crashing down, apparently under the weight of ice and snow. This is on the East Half Road, not far from the DMV. Nobody was hurt, miraculously, and there was no fire. Now, they're still investigating the collapse of that canopy there at the Sunoco station. Well, a moment of peace and healing at Syracuse University, which comes less than two weeks after racist and anti-Semitic incidents shook Syracuse University's campus. A peace vigil was held on the steps of Hendricks Chapel to provide hope for those who were affected by the recent events. And there was also a candle lighting and musical performance followed by a time inside the chapel for community building. Kate.